for serious, I don't think I've ever been this tired in my life. I'm going to make this video, this ode to gay men video, an ode to my best friend Mike, who has been there through thick and thin, through gay and straight, through everything. So I made a top 10 list of why my gay best friend is awesome. And I'd like to think that everyone who has a gay best friend should totally make a list as well. Whether it's your gay girl best friend, your gay guy best friend, you should make a list. And maybe if you too have a gay guy best friend, some of these will overlap and just give them a call and say how much you love them. Uh, one, quoting movies. My gay best friend can quote mostly any movie if it's in the Romy Michelle First Wives Club Sweetest Things category, which happen to be all top movies of mine. So Mike, high five on the clean punani. Also Trick. Oh, I made him oftentimes, if you guys have seen that movie, that whole monologue by Coco Peru, I kid you not, I made him say that monologue at least once every time we got drunk. Just, it burns. It burns. So number two on the list is telling me I was a big giant lesbian homo when I thought I was straight. He would always make references to me being gay and I think part of it he thought it was a funny haha, -ha, and then part of it he totally called me out and I would freak out on him telling him I'm not gay. Surprise! He knew, he knew, he felt it. He felt it in his little gay heart that I was a lesbian. Okay, next. He taught me how to dirty dance and let me tell you, let me just say this right now on the record, that when I go out and I pull any one of the moves that he taught me, it's a good night. It is definitely, definitely a good night. So Mike, thank you for taking me to all the gay clubs and teaching me how to get down and dirty because seriously, works every time. Number four, not hating me forever because I thought I fell in love with you. <laughs> there is a period of time and I don't know if other gay girls go through this when they think they're straight, but. I went through this really annoying period where I thought I was in love with my gay best friend and I was like suicidal running around with rusty razor blades sort of thing. So sorry Mike for putting you through like a good year and a half of me being just totally psychotic and not hating me forever. Thank you for not hating me. So number five is like mm, a double edged sword and that was biting your tongue and never telling me I was too fat to wear half the stuff I did in college. As my gay best friend, part of me thinks, looking at pictures that you should have told me, I couldn't pull off a small shirt when I was way, way bigger. Or that outfit that we wore that one night that was like, it looked like it was like a cat suit thing. You know, there's certain things that maybe, maybe that wasn't such a positive thing for not telling me. But nonetheless, I thoroughly appreciate not being called out for being too fat to wear, I'd say, a good 60% of the crap I was wearing during mm, sophomore year of college. Thank you. Thank you for that. You were so kind. It shows restraint and control and love because I probably would have burst out in tears. So yes, this is a positive thing. <laughs> All right, number six is always being there for me at 3 a.m. I don't know about you guys, but seriously, my gay best friend, I could call him at any time in college, now, and he will always be there for me. I remember a lot of times in college, I would call him at like 3 a.m. and I would be like, I'm having a total freak out, you know, run to the convenience store with me and let's walk around. And we would do that. And this would be any time I'd call him, he would put on a sweatshirt, I'd put on a sweatshirt and we'd go out and he'd be there to listen to me vent and bitch. Okay, number seven, being bitch slapped when needed. <laughs> so. For every time he bit his tongue in not telling me I was too fat to wear something, he definitely bitch slapped me a whole lot of times. And not politely bitch slapping, like hard bitch slapping. But I'm a firm believer that every so often you need that bitch slap to knock you out of shit. You know, just really hard, what the hell are you doing, bad idea, 
or whatever else, whatever the situation calls for, but Mike was always there to give me proper bitch slapping. So I thank you, Mike. Number eight, singing show tunes. This should come in every gay best friend model. Every model. Because I don't think anything's more enjoyable and or fun than after a night of debauchery going back to campus, or anywhere for that matter, popping in some show tunes and singing on the top of your lungs. Something along the lines of popular from Wicked. There's really nothing that beats that. I dare you to find something that beats that because frankly I have yet at the age of 27 to find anything that eclipses that happiness <laughs> of singing show tunes with your gay best friend. I'm just gonna put it out there and say there's there's not much. Not much at all. Okay next, number nine. Uh, this may have been my gay's talent and you may not have this in your gay best friend but he had the amazing ability to change words in songs to make fun of how gay I was <laughs> that also should come with every gay best friend model it's just fun it's not necessarily fun at the time that you're getting made fun of but in hindsight it's brilliant totally brilliant I wish I knew some of the songs he switched the words to okay next next so the last one, number 10, is Mike always takes my side. He always has my back. And there's nothing like a loyal gay. Nothing like it. Yeah, you have a mother, you have a father, you have grandparents, cousins, and they all have your back, right? Family's got your back. But there is nothing, mark my words, nothing quite like a gay man who's on your side and loyal because they will fight for you in a way that no one can no one can. So if you ever find a loyal gay best friend, you keep him and you keep him hard because one day, one day you're going to need him so bad and he will be there and he will fight for you way harder than anyone else. Mark my words. So again, to all you girls out there that have a gay guy best friend, give him a call, tell him how much you love him and how much he means to you and how your life would not be the same without him because I know for a fact my life would definitely not be the same without my Mike. So Mike, I love you and I can't wait to see you in August. To everyone else, I will see you next week on time. Mwah. Bye guys.